Hey there, in today's travel tip video, you will learn what to not forget to pack for your Christmas market trip. I went on a Christmas market trip in Belgium and I forgot travel essentials that I want you to not forget. <laughs> the number one item that I forgot for my Christmas market trip was my water repellent jacket with a removable hood and with backpack straps for when you get hot in a restaurant, touring all day, um, when you're inside a gondola ride above a mountain or a Ferris wheel. Before our trip, I put this in our normal car that we drive to the airport. The day that I left for my Christmas trip, my husband chose to take the other car. And so I had to quickly on my layover in Washington Dulles buy a new jacket for my Christmas trip and it was waterproof. It was fine. It's just a little bulkier than I needed for those temperatures. I did check the weather and that's a major travel tip before your Christmas market trip because I knew that I would not need a heavy, heavy down waterproof coat. The temperatures were supposed to be in the 40s, upper 40s, and raining a lot, and it only sprinkled once, thankfully. This jacket, I don't know if this jacket is still available, but I do like that it has an inside pocket, and that's where I just found my gloves that I took to the Christmas market last December. You do not want to forget to pack gloves that have some water repellent to them because when it did rain the afternoon on our Christmas market trip, you have one hand that's cold, but it's holding the umbrella. It got wet, but these repel. I'm not sure if they're still available on Amazon. On Amazon, I cannot make those items pop up. They do not let us on YouTube make them pop up for the shopping tab button so you'll find them and the other links in the first comment and the paragraph below every video. For pictures during your Christmas market trip I have two tips. Number one, a light colored hat will show up better in pictures than my black one that I took. I couldn't find this one at the time of departure or packing and it does have a removable poof but if it is raining I would say I would not want to have this unless I had a hood. A lot of down jackets have that poof stuff and fur around your hood. You do not want that if it's going to rain. The second tip that has to do with that hat is learn how to take photos with your iPhone or Android at night with sparkly lights because I learned from Helene in between on Instagram is you want those pictures, the lights to not be blurry so that your face is clear, but you still have the nighttime look. Let me know in the comments if this is your first Christmas market trip. One thing that I learned that I did not realize for my first one is that you want to go to the Christmas markets at dusk or when it's fixing to be dark, or we went at night because the ladies that we were with um, knew the train system really well. And so we just left at 4.30 and we got to see so many Christmas markets with our home base being in Brussels, Belgium. That's another tip is do not forget to research the train system or be on a tour or something like that. Another thing that I forgot to do on my first market trip is I should have known that you're not going to see the Christmas markets until late afternoon. And therefore I should have booked a cooking tour, a cooking class. I've already done the chocolate waffle making class in Brussels, but take a tour because you have all this time during the day. If you're going on a river cruise, skip one of their tours and make your own private tour. It is so amazing and food tours are the number one way to get the culture of that area. Because I checked the weather and saw that it was supposed to rain every day with a 40% chance of rain, I made sure that I packed my waterproof boots that are not available anymore. They were by Echo. Um, any shoe that you think is comfortable, pack it. You're going to be walking a lot and on uneven pavement and on pavement. <laughs> These are fantastic. They're my second version of this sneaker that looks like a boot, but it will be great with blue jeans. I did not wear that. I wore my black ones and did a black color scheme. These shoes are brand new. They have a pattern on them. They're in the Nordstrom sale. They may not be available. There's a light color and then a gold smooth one with no pattern. But I, this is my third version of this sneaker. I can walk all day in Europe in these and they are water resistant. 
I found out because of all the pairs that I've had. The new ones have flat laces, which I do prefer. I, I like that because if it is pouring down rain and you have the poofy white ones, um, they could get soaking wet, I don't know. Um, or just buy some elastic laces on Amazon. This is the newest waterproof shoe that I took to Canada. That sole is so much more comfortable than my old ones that I wore to uh, Belgium for the Christmas market. They are completely waterproof. I did add my own inserts since I was going to be walking so much. I didn't know if they would be comfortable and they were fine with the inserts, but they seem super comfortable without them during the day. It was supposed to be pouring down rain when we arrived. It was not. So I thought if we're going to be waiting on our Uber ride or our transportation in blowing rain, I want water resistant or water repellent pants. You might want to look in the golf section of a sporting goods store. These are from Duluth Trading. Y'all, they are so good. And trust me, do not pack the fleece lined ones unless it's going to be like below 30 degrees because you're going to be so warm walking around and with your mulled wine a hot chocolate bon chaud. these are slim leg and so i did that's why i did size up the waist has elastic in it so they are so comfortable i recommend just getting whatever you can with free shipping and investing in that one pair. Black is not gonna show any dirt and you can wash it easily if you absolutely have to. I also forgot extra t-shirts. I wore my short sleeve athletic shirt that doesn't look like an athletic shirt in the airplane for the really long flight because sometimes at night you get hot in the airplane because they make it warmer so people will sleep for some reason or it's either freezing cold. So my tip is to always wear layers or have them available. I had a long sleeve pajama shirt and I was so hot in our hotel room and it was a Marriott in right off of Grand Platz in Brussels. Pack more t-shirts, especially because when you're riding in the train to another Christmas market, that train is probably gonna be warm, or stagnant or both. So you're not gonna want your sweater or your jacket, okay? When you are thinking of winter outfits for traveling in a Christmas market, cashmere is one of the easiest ones to pack because you can wear them by your, themselves, but they are so effective in keeping you warm and they're so lightweight to pack and you don't feel all bulky and stressed with that and a short sleeve or long sleeve shirt on and you can take it off so fast <laughs> when you do get hot. In the 40s with 40 degree temperatures, I did not really need this. I did walk around the town of Brussels with that pink jacket unzipped one day because it was so stagnant or humid so it wasn't all that cold. This is one of three travel sweaters that I travel with, in the airplane especially. They're thin, but they hang right. They, I have a black and cream one. I have the light gray one, which I absolutely love. I'm 5'8", size 10, and the large is plenty big enough. I like that they have the little collar difference there. They're a thin layering piece for your travel outfits. I do have a video about with 11 long flight travel outfit ideas, if that would be helpful for you. When you're traveling in the winter, being anti-theft or stopping pickpockets is so much easier because you can hide things under your jacket. Because I had to take my mini umbrella, I bought this new um, crossbody bag that's slash resistant and the straps are slash resistant and the inside is light. And then for my river trip, this April, I got the blue one because it would match more of my spring outfits like this sweater that I wore. But there are two things about the crossbody bags that I wanted to share with you that are helpful travel tips. When you are in the train station, for instance, and you need to anywhere in public and you need to get to your purse before you leave your house, I want you to practice getting your wallet out of your crossbody bag, getting your card, putting the card back in and stowing it so that you can be swift and observant you know, or like less of a target. I have a whole video with Amazon products 
that are anti-theft that you can wear or add to your bags um, that I will link up there or up there for you. One of our viewers gave me a travel hack for the hidden money belt. I like this one because the buckle does not protrude or add like bulk to this already odd thing that you're wearing hidden. She said to slide the hidden money belt around and put it under the back of your pants underneath those. You notice it's there even less. And most coats are hang down lower in the back. So I thought that was a fantastic travel hack. If you don't know our travel community, read through the comments and comment back and forth, share your tips. They are so helpful and have great ideas and different ideas than me based on their budget or their experience or weather. Another item that I'm really glad I remembered was my charger because by the end of the day, at night, when you're still at the Christmas market, your phone is gonna be pretty close to needing charging because you've used your video or your camera so much. This one plugs into the base of your phone and I would just charge that at like dinner or something because it is wobbly, but it's securely in there. But when you charge it is when you need the cord. So you don't have to keep up with a cord in your crossbody bag. This is easy to pack down in your crossbody bag. One travel tip is to try your best to find cash and get euros out of their ATM the first day because their ATMs will give you large bills like 100 and you need to cash that or break that quickly at a booth buying your mulled wine or your pasta that's put together in a bowl of cheese, like a wheel of cheese, and it's melted and blah, 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 all within your noodles there in Europe. So you wanna have that cash so you'll have smaller bills to buy one glass of mulled wine for three euros, for example. A lot of travelers ask me and my viewers for how do you bring back souvenirs? The pilot wives I went with to Belgium wanted those little mugs and they are adorable. I have not used mine since I brought it home though, just so you know. But a lot of them will check a bag because mostly when you buy a ticket, you get one free checked bag and that suitcase that they check or either a duffel bag is empty and then on the return trip they'll put all their dirty laundry in there and then they can protect their valuables in their personal item bag or a different carry-on suitcase or duffel bag that they brought on as their carry-on. One travel tip that I learned for my Christmas market trip is to bring more adapters that have outlets in them. I've loaned my two pack to a friend's son who's going to Europe for his graduation party. How oh, great. I mean, for his graduation trip. All right. But if you want to use your curling iron or your hair dryer over in Europe or another country, you need to pack a converter. There are some that are converter and adapters in one. I just wouldn't trust them. Buy a converter only for those two. If you have a CPAP machine, you do not need a converter, okay? The adapters, because we have to charge our phone, then we have to charge our watch maybe. We also have to charge our portable charger for during the day. And now our hearing aid charger maybe. You need more outlets. And a lot of hotels over there may be older in that they only have one or two outlets. I was by myself, I used every single outlet and my one little adapter. You need another adapters because it has all those plugs in it. And one really important tip that I learned from my river cruise this April is that you can now bring back cheese into America. We went to Amsterdam and bought like a an eight and a half by 11 slice of cheese and then this thick block and then another huge piece. And the cheesemonger in Amsterdam told me this trick. She said, if you have it shrink wrapped or vacuum sealed at the store, then they will allow you to bring it in. And here's what I did in airport security when I got to the Amsterdam airport security. I told the security officer there, I have cheese, but it's vacuum sealed. And he goes, oh, don't worry about it. Then you go through, it didn't even, I didn't even have to pull it out. And then when I came into America, I was expecting to declare it. 
I think I wrote something on there when they ask you if you've had $10,000 worth of product in your bag. I think I wrote cheese because I did not want to get stopped or delayed after that 10 hour flight. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot. Okay, um, when I got back into customs in Houston, I said, I have cheese and they're like, oh, don't worry about it. And I think it's because their security technology is newer because when we came back from Canada just this summer in 2024, they made us put our shoes, our liquids bag, um, my mom's motor of her CPAP machine had to come out. I think it's because their technology is not newer. Like some airports in the United States are newer and some are older still, as are all of the airport securities in all the world, in the whole wide world. Okay, the one thing I forgot to tell you about is I forgot my phone prop for the tray table. If you wanna watch Netflix, I have a video. Ooh, I'll put that in the very end. But if you wanna watch, I don't know, anything, it, the airplane's entertainment system on their app on your phone, you need to have a phone prop. <laughs> I forgot mine and I realized it on the flight over there. And then I had that 10 hour flight back. <laughs> anyway, I hope these tips help you not forget the essentials for your beautiful Christmas market trip. Let me know where you're going.